Princess Kalma Ferris is dead. She chose to commit suicide on the night of the opera at the Hamilton School where she taught. She was found sitting in a chair with her head drowned in a wash basin full of water. Miss Ferris was supposed to play the most important role of Katisha in the opera The Mikado. Since she was found missing on that night, her role was enacted by another staff member, Mrs. Boyle. Before I proceed, let me wish you a happy new year. I couldn't wish you early because I fell ill and had to take a break. So, happy new year once again and let this year brings you all the joy, happiness and peace you want in life. If you are a crime fiction addict, you have to read the golden age crime fiction writers like the Agatha Christie, um, G.K. Chesterton, Daphne du Maurier, Dorothy L. Sayers, um, Marjorie Ellingham, Gladys Mitchell and the like. There are many heterogeneous collection of classics. So the golden age is usually referred to as the fiction, the crime fiction produced or created between 1920 and 1939. The writers like uh, Agatha Christie, uh, Dorothy L. Sayers, Daphne du Maurier are still well-known writers while Gladys Mitchell, Marjorie Ellingham had to suffer a decade of obscurity and that was quite unfortunate. I don't know about other countries, but in my country, India, or I would say, I would rather say in my state, Kerala, it is very difficult to get hold of Mitchell's and Allingham's books. Luckily, I could get hold of Gladys Mitchell's Death at the Opera from the public library. I'm yet to find Allingham's book. So this book, Death at the Opera by Gladys Mitchell, was written in the year 1934. So, before I delve deeper into the book review, let me remind you who I am because it's been a few days. I'm Shalit Jimmy. I'm from India. I love books and I talk about them here. I am an avid crime fiction reader and hence they predominantly constitute my read and to be read list. But I assure you, I have other genres too. Welcome to Shalit Jimmy's Story World. Coming back to our story, the coroner's verdict said it was suicide. But Mr. Cliffordson, the headmaster of the school, had his doubts as he found the pipe of the wash basin was tampered with. It was blocked with clay. Without wasting much time, he sought the help of an elderly and a sly psychoanalyst, Mrs. Bradley. Mrs. Bradley or Mrs. Beatrice Adela Bradley is the detective character created by Gladys Mitchell and she is the first female detective character who was not only a detective but a qualified doctor and a psychoanalyst. She appeared in 66 novels of Gladys Mitchell. The first few chapters were devoted to show the kind of person Miss Ferris, the victim, was. She had none except for an aunt who was running a lodge. 
The kind on her face, the aunt never had any sincere liking for Miss Ferris. And her life was colorless, but her moral values very high. And she was a sort of person who could be happier or who could be happy with all the goodness happening around and all the goodness happening to others. And her life was without any expectations and she had little time for ranting and draving. So it was quite shocking and surprising to know that such an inoffensive woman like Miss Ferris could get murdered. Through her analysis, Mrs. Bradley came across people who had the opportunity and the motive to kill Kalma Ferris. But still she was perplexed because those who had the opportunity did not have the motive to kill her and those who had the motive did not have the opportunity to kill her. Just a few days before the opera, Ferris's aunt had sent her a telegram warning her of a man called Hem whom she had met during her stay in the lodge run by her aunt. And that was the only clue that could make the reader think that there was more to the plot. Then comes the twist in the tale. Two more drownings. An epidemic of drowning, as Mrs. Bradley would like to call them. To talk about the book, I was engrossed in it right from the first page. The writing was very clear. I'm somebody who will get used to the writings of certain authors if I read them repeatedly. And I've often, you know, found it really hard to come out of that spell while reading others' books. But uh, to my surprise, Gladys Mitchell did not pose any such bottlenecks. As I already mentioned, I'm reading Gladys Mitchell for the first time, so Mrs. Bradley is new to me, and I'm sure I'll get to know about her more through the stories. But I should say, I really like the method Mrs. Bradley employed to understand or to find out who the real culprit is. And uh, it is very helpful for a reader who wants to be a writer. And uh, she, she would note down uh, the causes that would make one, a potential murderer. It gives the reader a feeling that he or she is moving along with her to find out or nap the real culprit. And uh, still I couldn't find out who the culprit was until the very end. And the book was real fun. But what I could not come to terms with was the motive that made the culprit commit murder. It sounded flimsy. I would pinpoint a few without revealing much. For example, Kalma Ferris destroyed a clay statue Mr. Smith, the art teacher, was making, though not deliberately, of course. But he was compensated by Mrs. Boyle later. Could that be a motive? Secondly, Ferris had seen Miss Cliffordson, another staff member of the school, and Hurstwood, a student from the school, kissing each other. He was, the student was head over heels in love with his teacher. Could that be a motive? Thirdly, Ferris had discovered the clandestine relationship between Mr. Hampstead and Mrs. Boyle. Mr. Hampstead's wife was an alcoholic and she was admitted in an asylum and Mrs. Boyle was a widow. They were in a relationship for the past 11 years. Could that be a motive? Though at the outset, these motives did not impress me much, but later, after brooding over it for quite a long time, I understood that I was wrong and I was being judgmental because human beings cannot be expected to behave in a certain way. And all the emotions and feelings are not what it seems. So about the book, I loved it. It was fun reading it and I'll recommend it. So if you love my review, my video, please share some love by liking it. God bless.